there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Just the Tip here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're checking out the Immortal Mickey Trick. It's a way of actually snapping the game difficulty of Star Ocean right over your knee. I do not recommend this for people who actually are trying to play the game for a little bit of a challenge of enjoyment. It really is unbelievably broken, this little tip. So what you want to do is take the dead man walking trick that we actually used in a previous video to show how to complete the protect and missions without breaking the game and apply it now instead of onto the character that we want to protect apply it to our healer we're going to actually apply dead man to mickey so essentially mickey's health is going to be constantly dropping down but because her health's constantly dropping down she'll be forced to constantly cast or spam heals and because healing causes an aggro effect in the same way an mmo would it draws a lot of the tension away from the other characters and allows you just to attack willfully. Now, Mickey will lose health at a very fast rate, but because of her being a healing character, she tends she's not a tanky level of health, but with um, a few applications of spell potency, like the um, main item you get from buying the digital edition of this game, or any of the games you get from the crafting, that you do admittedly get later on in the game, but apply can apply earlier if you know what you're doing. If you start crafting items that allow you to increase spell potency or curative spell potency, you can really, really abuse this. Where to the point that you use simple hairy, simple healing, like fairy healing, can do the entire party to almost full health in a single try, rather than even being having to go for one of the higher spells. Now, you can see that Mickey is constantly losing health here at a fast, fast rate. But she isn't having any issue about keeping herself healed and healing the crowd around her. So you can just drop heavily into DPS and start spell hammering every boss in this game. Now, I chose to do it at this point and show this boss. Not in any particular reason. I didn't have any problem with this one. It just happened to be around about the time in the game that I actually applied this rule to the character. But I have been able to use this with every single boss in a situation where even it's just using Fidel and Mickey to take down the hardest of the Cathedral of Chaos, which is the kind of um, extra mission, high difficulty uh, side quest that you can get whenever you're playing through the main game. Now, it can take a while, no matter what. It means that you can go and fight higher difficulty monsters, higher difficulty bosses, and grind out the fight rather than actually having to be even well enough leveled to really do enough damage to push the character down. You're going to be punishing less, but you can survive absolutely anything in this game using this trick. It's it's just offensive. So, obviously he's about to fall down. I've got a little bit of a, a modification to the trick, which requires a little bit more time and patience and requires you to actually like, level up a few more rules. I mentioned in the previous episode where I was saying that if you want to have uh, Mickey really focus on healing that you need to actually have her using the sage as well now sage is a great great side rule if you're going to use it with this it makes this whole trick even more ridiculous yeah what you can do is actually increase the amount of mp that she gets all the way through the fight to keep herself alive i either use the fairy band or the healing band healing band will actually increase the health that she gets while the fairy band will increase the MP that she regains. And if you turn around and apply the sage rule to it, your spells will be cast so much faster and she will still focus on healing. And that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Just a Tip, checking out Star Ocean, Integrity, and Faithlessness. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!